All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to another Enshrouded video. I just want to give you a massive thank you for the support on the last two videos that were released. Uh, you guys seem to be loving it and enjoying it, uh, and uh, it's showing, and I just want to make sure that I throw these out a lot quicker than I would do normally. Um, obviously, we've got the hype of the release and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that might die down in the future. We'll see. Who knows? But I want to get more videos out. Uh, ASAP, uh, even if it's just um, just me generally just doing generic things in the game uh, and not just skipping a lot of like the stuff, because it seems like a lot of you uh, a lot of you guys want to see the the progress uh, and instead of me going from here to maybe another building being complete and all that kind of stuff, but I do want to do a bit of exploration soon because we need to find more materials, and as you can see right now, I am currently trying to grab more flint. And I'm fighting my stamina bar, and I've been eating and all this kind of stuff to try and keep it up there. Uh, and I am rested. But because I've been... Uh, I was hard on work on this on the live stream yesterday. Not on this playthrough, on a totally separate playthrough. But I was kind of playing around with, like, the building kind of aspects and stuff. And as you can see, I've done a few little changes here. I've added some stone pillars here now. I've added a bit of a lip to the, sea, uh, the, the, the roof. Um... And all that kind of good stuff. Um, I do, like I said, want to do a bit of the exploration. I'm kind of building these little tower things here. Because what I've been doing with these is... I've, if you, like... It, this is taking me back to, like, my Minecraft days of, like, way back, way back. Uh, and when you go into build mode... And I just sit, change over to, like, for example, a block here. Uh, or even just a small block. And if I just stand here and jump and build... Um, I actually start going up with it as well. Um, and then I can get to the ceiling a lot quicker and just doing a little bit of work. But right now, I'm currently just extending this because, as you can tell, it's a little bit um, too too close to the house. I would like a bit of a lip on the uh, the ceiling right here. So I just ran out of flintstone uh, as I was working on this. You can see that I've kind of done this side right now. Uh, but I'm just kind of working on this side. Hence the reason I was mining for some flintstone because... I just kind of run out. I'm, I'm going to stop calling it Flintstone. And I need to just call it Flint. Any other game, I'll call it Flint. I don't know why I'm calling it Flintstone in this. Maybe because the whole word is uh, oh is, is actually in this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say a big thank you for the, the love and the support. Um, like, you guys seem to be enjoying this. So I'm going to make sure I keep delivering it uh, as well. Uh, especially whilst we've got the hype of the release as well. And a lot of you didn't even realize this game really existed. And I picked it up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I even got a lovely email from the uh, the, the developers uh, from Keen uh, who just want to thank uh, me for creating the content. And and that's just down to you guys as well. So we've got old... I forgot what this guy's name was called. He was called Oswald. Oswald. And that's the name of him. Um, we can kind of move him around where we need to do and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so I can put him down. We actually put him down next to here, right? Keep him inside. Keep him nice and warm. Uh, I could do with getting warm, to be honest. I'm gonna get the. Um, I'm just gonna sit down here um, next to the fire, so we can see our rested. Well, our rested um, going up. Um, I believe that might go up to about 16 minutes, maybe. Um, we'll see. 15 minutes. Uh, if I had some food, though, actually, have I got any uh, raw food on me right now? I do. I have some uh, wolf meat, so I'm gonna get this cooked. Um, and yeah, so from what I've experienced so far within these videos is. Um, you guys just like seeing me just do the cooking and um, just kind of going out and exploring and grabbing things. You guys want to see more of a full story rather than me going from here, then going into the shroud and suddenly I'm there, then suddenly I'm back here and I've built an extension. You guys want to see more of the fine details being created. So I'm going to deliver that. Um, I've also found something else out and I found this out on the live stream thanks to a, a viewer uh, letting me know. Uh, is if we actually go into the build menu... And we go to the flame altar. We can actually place another one down inside our build area. Right? So, for example, this flame altar is kind of way out of position right here. So, I'm going to put another one here. We've not upgraded this one that we already have yet. And I'm going to place this one down, let's say, for example, here. And then I can go up to this one. And because when we extinguish the flame, everything inside of it will actually get removed. But if we click extinguish flame... It then gives us, a, you know, this is, it's altar level one, your building area, all this kind of stuff. So we extinguish it. And it's then going to give us 30 seconds to replace it in case we accidentally do that. But because I've already got one down here, it's actually going to still 
allow us to have the same build area. So this one will get deleted. But a little bit of a disclaimer, if you have upgraded the flame, um, in your, well, you upgraded your altar, um, what will happen is you will actually lose your progression through that. So that means when you place your new one down, the new area will be smaller. You might not have the bonuses towards the shroud timer and all this kind of stuff. But as you can see now, I've moved the altar, so there's no panic of when you're placing your first altar that you're never going to remove it again, but you can do just by doing what I've just shown you there. But also, I believe the uh, the uh, charcoal kiln should be done as well. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few charcoal in there. I kind of do want to keep this topped up as well, so I'm just going to throw some more wood in there. We can easily get some more wood. Uh, and I also want to get some new supplies from our good old friend Oswald in here. Uh, who can now supply me with uh, better felling axes and pickaxes. But we need metal scrap. We need string shroud wood, which I'm going to guess we need to go into the the uh, shroud and start chopping some wood down. Some metal scraps, uh, which I don't think we have any. Oh, the resource table is there. Um, we do have metal scraps. We've got 12. Um, we have no shroud wood. We've got some resin. We've got some fur. We've got a couple of tar. I want to change all of that plant fiber into string. And then if we go into here as well, there's nothing in there. I know I don't think we've got anything in here, right? Oh, we do. We've got a couple of bandages. Let's pull them out. And the water. Uh, and I've got a cu couple of cooked meat in here as well. well. I don't know why I've got animal fur in here and resin in here. I need to kind of sort these uh, chests out. Maybe like one chest into building items, one into food, one into all that kind of stuff. You know, like the normal survival kind of thing. But this kitchen's kind of looking all right so far. Uh, and what I want to do now is just quickly double check. If we go into here, I want to make a felling axe. And we're going to hit F because we can press F down here. And we can pin this recipe. So we can see now on the right hand side of the screen, we need three string and we need um, some shroud wood. So we can get a better axe. Um, so let's, I keep pressing X. So let's make some string and let's go get some shroud wood. So we need to head into the shroud. Um, and obviously... We found out last time, every time we go back to the main menu, things kind of respawn, like the trees, and like, if I wanted to farm some honey wax, I could literally just grab this, log out, run back here, grab it again, log out, and I can, I could I could do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's just, it's a personal preference that I, I don't want to do that. Like, I could easily farm all these wood down, I could exit to the main menu, I'm farming again. But I feel like my, my own personal journey within the game it will become a little, how would I say, I don't want to be save scumming, <laughs> you know, I don't want to kind of do that, obviously, it's a, like I said, anybody's able to do it, it's a personal preference, if you want to do it, do it, um, you know, I'm not going to think it, but for me, I just don't want to do that, um, come here, buddy, nice, let's get a couple more meat from this guy, got some bones, some raw, raw meat, and then we're going to head down here, into the shroud, to grab some shroud meat, uh, shroud meat, shroud wood, shroud wood, that's it. All right, so we're now heading into the uh, shroud. It's getting uh, pretty foggy. We've already kind of been into this area before because of the, uh, to get the, the, the black, uh, the, uh, what's he called guy, right? The blacksmith. We can see there's some guys over there. Here's the, some, wait. going into first person mode. That was weird. Okay. We've also got another ring there. Do, have I got a ring? I do. Got another one. Which is eight stamina and health. This one's eight stamina and health. So I'm just wondering if, if that's... The, we, we just got a duplicated ring because we have loaded the game back up and it's the same guy. I don't know. But that will happen where I come back 24 hours later. Uh, from playing the game. Right, okay, buddy boys. And that might stuff might happen. I love how there's um a whole counter attack within the game. I think that's pretty cool. 
how we can if we time our blocks perfectly we get that little stagger um so we can stagger our enemies so they get a little bit dazed but obviously if you just apply on the pressure uh, apply on the pressure as well there's like a little white health bar that's underneath their health it's kind of like a a stamina um a fatigue bar i should say um which is pretty cool i don't think we need that much shroud wood block oh that's a new kind of wood we've not come across God, it's so freaky in here. Weird, weird sounds. What are keeping it? What's that? Oh, shroud liquid. Is it coming from this? I'm not going to say what that looks like, but <laughs> you guys have your own imagination. You're all adults who watch this channel. Majority of you are, anyway. Is, uh... It's going to be a little bit harder than normal and all of it is just sliding down so like is it sliding onto the pathways here or what because some of it's there we go some's there is this going to give me wood or not or is this going to give me that uh liquid oh it's giving me the uh oh it give me shroud wood and liquid unless that shroud wood was from the tree i'd just previously chopped down god it feels like i'm in bloody mordor Okay, we've got a little bit of wood. I've only got one minute left, so we want to get out of here as soon as before we start being consumed by the shroud. I love how the message is like, leave now. You will be in peril. But we got out of there just in time. Still just random growling sounds. But uh, we do have enough stuff to make there, so we can make the new felling axe. And then I want to make the new pick as well. Um which I believe needed eight metal scraps, which we do have. Well, we will have eight afterwards, uh, after we have this. Oh, fireflies. Let's grab these guys. Obviously, we can only really see these at night, but we can use these for some illumination within the house and put them in some jars um, for some, like, light up the house a little bit. And obviously, these are so easy to see at night. But I think it does require five fireflies per lantern. All right, we're getting closer to home now. And we can see, because since I've moved that um, flame, it actually illuminates the whole front piece of the house here. Um, I do want to look at maybe um, maybe we do that today. He's adding a little bit of an extension onto the side of this house to so put the blacksmith in. Um, very similar structure, but I want to kind of do the framed, the, the roof a little bit smaller. So I kind of want to maybe do a smaller little extension here with a roof that's lower than the uh, the one up there. Uh, and then maybe put the blacksmith inside that little shack. Or we can kind of build him uh, his own little place. But we've got plenty of time in this game. There's no rush to do what we want to do. Um, but others... Oh, wait, is the fireflies in this house? Hello? Friendly? No? Okay. All right. Sir, Mr. Oswald, I would like a felling axe, please. Oh, and we can make the pickaxe. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so if we go into our inventory now, we can now put our new uh, axe in here, our new pickaxe, and let's uh, let's kind of store. We'll make we're gonna make this chest kind of like uh, our where we put our weapons, our little armory. I'm just kind of sorting this out right now. So I want uh, the explosive balls. I want to make sure my torch is on there as well. Uh, I don't need two swords. Let's just throw one of them away. Wait, what? Is this the same damage? 11, 11. I've got one up there as well. Bloody hell. I wonder if we can, like, break these down. We might be able to. Um, so we've got some water here also. So let's kind of just shuffle all of these down here. We've got bandages, which we're going to need. And then I want to make sure that our water's in there. And we want to make sure our food slot is in there as well. Um, we can also throw down some we need like a building chest so like all the b mats can go into which i don't think i have one it's too dark in this corner can i make a lantern we don't have a crafting table inside do we oh wait no i do i was stood it right outside of it um illumination here we go so we've got we just need plant fiber and we can make one firefly lamp so plant fiber one out of three 
So let's just grab a couple of uh, couple of bushes. A couple of leaves, I should say. Which there should be some around here. Here we go. Well, that's just some blackberries. Plant fiber. Maybe we can try and get a couple more fireflies as well. Also grabbing this. We can make two. Trying to illuminate the house a little bit more. Especially the downstairs. Hi, friend. He's looking at me now over there. Hello. And then we can head back inside. Head to our crafting table. And we should be able to now make the uh, firefly lamps. Which we can. We can make two of them. And then we can place them down. I think I want to place one down here on the crafting bench. Nice. Kind of lights up that corner. Oh, they fly out of it. That's pretty cool. And then maybe we add another one. I'm going to stick one here on the fireplace. Kind of works. And then we'll look at doing stuff up here. Maybe on another day. But we're illuminated down here. It's nice and cozy. Uh, and one more thing we want to look at now is what he's got here. Full armor set. Uh, but also we can enhance equipment now also. And all upgrade items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. And en enhancing an item unlocks new perks. And then each perk costs ruins. Gather ruins by salvaging weapons and other equipment. So we can see right here it's these little uh, coins we've been grabbing. These little ruin coins. Uh, and it just costs, you know, what it is. And then this is going to give us poison damage. This will give us cutting damage. Uh, and we can enhance and our, our tools, which is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, we've got one-handed weapons now. And we can make a spike club or a scrappy sword, which is going to give us 16 damage. But we don't have any metal scraps. Uh, and nails are going to require metal scraps, right? Yeah, one metal scrap per two nails. We can make some more dishes if we want. We can make some cups. For the table and scrub the bowls and all that good stuff. But I want to look at the fur armor. So we need animal fur, we need torn cloth, and we need a lot more string. And we're going to, you know, can I pin all of these? I'd be curious to see if we can. Uh, and if they all combine. No, it's only one item we can combine. But it does look like we need a lot of fur. Um, so let me go back to the full armor set. So we need in total... Uh, one, four, six, seven animal fur. We need one, two, four, five. Okay, so we've got enough torn cloth uh, and string. We need quite a bit of string, so I may as well just grab as much bloody fi fiber right now. Is something you need a lot of, especially early game. From what I've uh, from what I've been experiencing, so we're just gonna keep grabbing what we need to right now. Oh, there's a wolf here. Hi, friend. Are you stuck? Oh yeah, he's stuck in the uh, he's stuck in the rock. That's some fur though, at least. But we have seen a lot of goats around here, some mountain goats, which, if I'm not mistaken, we've seen a lot over here, just near the entrance to the shroud kind of pathway. There we go. We can see one right there. You got any friends nearby? Oh, you do. Perfect. Perfect. Come here. Stop. In the name of the law, you have now been detained. <laughs> Oh, there's more uh, honey there and wax. Wax we need for more illumination. Okay, there's one more around here. Where is it? There he is. Nice. So now we've got the animal fur. I don't think we've got all of it, though. But I definitely know we need more string. So we'll grab as much of this fiber as we can. And if I see any more wolves or, you know, sheep, we'll make sure to grab them. Wonder what I get off these little guys. They're super quick, though. Raw lean meat. Okay. It's the first time I killed one of them. Feel bad for killing them, though. Little cute little rabbit things. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have more than enough, I think. Uh, it's you, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we've got enough. Uh, I need to make some uh, string first, though. Let's just get rid of all of this. If you've noticed, I've gone into the options menu, and there is an option to turn off the UI sound effects, which I'm, which I'm so glad there is. Uh, but there definitely needs to be work on that um, resource creation there. Um, okay, so let's make a, a helmet. And for you, oh, we need metal. Oh, we need metal scraps. Four, five. Oh, I don't have a clue where to get metal scraps from. Where do I get metal scraps from? Maybe inside this town? Question mark? Any metal scraps? No, wooden logs. I'm just kind of like seeing if any of this stuff will break down into metal scraps. That give me torn cloth. String, torn cloth. Uh, what I should do as well is should, I should look at putting uh, my helmet on, right? Our little fur helmet. Maybe that will help us with... Uh... I can't seem to get this one. I thought it might help us with warmth. Okay, we've got some string. A little fiber. Sort of look around everywhere and maybe uh, there's some in here. Like in all these barrels and stuff. Just seems to be wood. But I might as well grab some water whilst I'm here. And that's a good time for me just to hydrate. <clears throat> ah, that includes you. Some more wood in here. It's a lot more food. Oh, metal scraps. So there was some in here. My uh, sword is about to break. Maybe I should use my axe. But yeah, that's not... That's not working, is it? Works on that, though. Got some wood from that. Oh, crap. Um, I'll just use my torch instead. Oh, he doesn't have any metal scraps for me either. Have you got metal scraps for me? You know what, the torch is <laughs> it's not so bad, you know? Kind of been down here before. Can I? We've already read that. More string. Um. Everything's fine. To be honest, I could do with some healing right now because I am pretty low on health. That's just from me falling from the uh, my bloody house all the time. Oh, more metal scraps. I don't know if we can, but it would be nice to attach a lantern to our hip or something. Uh, that would be nice. Oh, that's a lot of... Bloody items dropping on the ground. Needs a lockpick, and a lockpick requires metal scrap. I know that for a fact. We always stay away from that guy. I don't want to get damaged again. All right, let's just head back inside. I know we've, we won't have enough like for it all, but I have emptied my storage as well um, into kind of into kind of areas you could say. 
Uh, and hopefully, so we got kind of like our weapons and B mats over here. And then over here, we kind of have like our food and all that kind of stuff. So, full armor sets. So we have got this. We can now make the chest. Uh, we can make the pants and we can make the boots. We just need to buy the uh, gloves. So we need just two more metal scrap. So if we head into here, we can now put our boots on. We can now put our fur chest on and that is it. Oh, our pants as well. Uh, our trousers. So nice. So these just give us some more just physical resistance compared to the, uh, you know, Oh, that didn't equip. There we go. So that gives us 17. That gives us 26. It doesn't give us any, like, extra resistance for, like, cutting, piercing, and blunt and all that kind of stuff and magical resistance. But it's, it's a little bit of extra armor, and I'm not looking as naked now. Although I do kind of look a little weird. So let's cook some more food, because I do kind of want to go and do this little quest. It says here, enter the elixir well. So I want to kind of see what's going on down there because the missions kind of give you a bit of a um a direction on like new materials some pois and all that kind of good stuff so we're going to head down there and i think if i'm not mistaken it's going to take us into the shroud so having this extra bit of physical armor will uh will actually benefit from us and i just wanted to make sure we've got some food before we go and maybe i should empty my inventory as well so like this is seems to be full so if i just press um or to this you know deplo uh, deposit it'll already deposit into the stacks we already have i'm gonna jump into here and we'll just press uh or as well might as well take these out of here haven't i got some books i don't remember breaking but maybe i did it when i brought the bookshelf down maybe i can't put them in there it's fine i'll just stick them in here for now but now that we've got that, let's uh, make sure we're good. Our sword is fully repaired because we use the crafting bench. Let's take some food now. Let's take some water. Uh, and then let's also make sure we have... We do have a bandage. So we can head down into the area. We just need more metal scraps, right? So our current quest is clear the elixir well. The elixir well is an overgrown pit, spitting corruption and fumes into the air with, uh, from below. Enter the elixir well to find the root of this evil and eradicate it. So we're going to get whatever that is. It looks like a head. Uh, and I think that might be a level or a point and 150 XP and its locations here. So if we open our map, we can see it's in this area. So this is the shroud. That's my custom marker where we found that uh, flint. So we just head down here into this area. So which is back this way and back into the bloody shroud. All right, we're heading in to the depths of Mordor. Can we not get rid of these messages that come up? Maybe in the options. Well, we've got f just under five minutes. Uh, and we need to kind of head in this direction, 70 meters away over here. So it's more than likely kind of where I was chopping them trees down before. The enshrouded ones, you know? Oh, God. Oh, God, we are going deep now. Gonna follow this road along here. Location is above. I can already see a a Druger, a Draugr up there. He's got a bow in his hand. And more in the in the middle. Okay, there's a few of them. What's that? Shroud survival flask. Oh, what are you? you? Oh. Let's have my weapon equipped, shall we, bitch? Okay. Okay. Woo! Easy, tiger. Okay, I need to heal. I need to heal. Come put bandage on. I don't I don't have I don't have any stamina. I need to stop locking onto him and run. Run bits. Oh, there's another archer up there. Okay, we're in a bit of a panic mode right now. I have no more 
Why did I not bring any more bandages? And this guy's just chasing me. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm a bomb. Ne never mind. Okay. I just had a really bad nightmare where I got attacked by multiple draugers, ice bombs, and thingies. I don't know why, but I have a sudden urge to head in this direction because I feel like my inventory's been emptied. <laughs> but we picked up this. Two minute maximum time. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the crafting bench because my problem right there was I went for the archer, not realizing there was three enemies behind him. And then... In doing so, I attracted them. But I was very surprised with the ice bombs. But them other drogers, like drogers, um, are like, was charging. Oh, maybe I should, wait, 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 no, no. Some of you are already shouting at the screen going, Bits, make some bandages before you go and make sure you topped up with health. I, I promise you, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Jeez. So let's head inside, head into my little basket over here uh, and grab any cloth and string that I have just so we can go into our crafting menu and make some bloody bandages. Are you happy now? Because I am. I feel a, a little bit more safer. Um, okay, why have we got a piece of honey right there? Maybe I should uh, take some fresh more meat with us and uh, just kind of store anything we don't need as of right now, into here. Let's make sure that's in there and I've got some extra meat. Uh, I have no more bombs, but we do have this flask to use as well. My sword, let me just make sure that's topped up again. Right, now, now, let's head back to the... Uh, the quarry actually no <laughs> let's head back in here and make sure we're, we're well, uh, well rested uh, so we can you know make sure we've got enough stamina and all that good stuff because having that stamina is definitely a boost uh, is a good little boost and then we'll we'll drink some water some meat and I don't know if the chicken is gonna yeah the chicken's just kind of tops that up Okay, so if I had some berries or some mushrooms or something, we can we can uh, fill up that other one. But now, but now we can head down into the well and try and get our stuff back. All right, we're entering the pits again, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember where my uh, where my body was. I don't remember where I died. I don't see my death sign as well either. Where did I die? The archer. All right, here we go again. We're trying to rush the archer. All right, friends. This is what we're going to do. I changed my thing. Ah! Yes. Okay. Oh, did we just pick up a shield? I think we just picked up a shield. Uh, we did. Nice. Okay, now where did I die? 
Where did I die? Another elixir well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away tirelessly to gouge tunnel into the, to the earth. The plans for this construction are otherworldly. The chasm spits fumes with every jab. Thin veils of mist cause headaches and irritate the eyes. All for the elixir. I hope this foul air will not spread to the lawn thistle. Balthazar. Okay. Mate. Jesus. Um. Are you okay? Did you just hit a... Where's my uh, golden elixir gone? Did I drink it? Oh, sugar. Okay, have I got any more swords? No. And I'm 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 Oh, there's one of them things up here. One of these drinking things. Please. So I can restore some time. Beautiful. Okay, I do want to kind of look around a bit here a bit more. See if we can grab anything. I could do with repairing my uh my axe. My own, my sword. My Celia. There's some other glowy things over here that I don't know if he's trying to grab my attention or what, but what is this? Oh, it's more of these time things. Nice. Let's drink that up. Is this another one over here as well? There is something I can collect up there. Um, get out of this bloody pit. Oh, hi, guys. Repair my torch. Uh, my 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 weapon. Um and I've not seen an anvil around here. Oh my god, that's a big pit. Hi. Okay, let's drink some that up. Restore some more time. And we need to head up, up here, it seems. Up here. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. So we can we, we spawn from here. But now the thing is, what do I do about my sword? Because it's buggered and I can't repair it. So... Do I quickly run back home to repair it? Or what? Or am I just going to use my torch? But even that is kind of damaged. Okay, so the option was to run all the way back home to repair our stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a second weapon, probably the cleaver, just so we've got uh, additional storage. And now I can run all the way back. Actually, before we go, let's rest again. And then head back down there. Because I don't know what's going to be down there. It could be a little crazy. It might not be. I might just be getting paranoid. But, uh, actually, can I teleport down there? Now I've got that. Oh, I can see it as a waypoint. But I can't teleport to that thing we unlocked. So, I guess, time to run again. And again. And again. All right, we're back at the elixir well for the third time. And, uh, I think we go up this way. I think I saw a climbing thing. Yeah, here we go. Climb down here. Head into the well. And see what lies beneath. Wait a minute, do we? Oh. Okay, there was ladders there, but I didn't see them. Eh. 
I just realized as well, when you're climbing down these, you're going to be con you're consuming stamina, so... Uh, I think my stamina is pretty good. Our health is good, we are nice, we're warmth, we're currently sheltered. What on earth is that tentacle thing? Is that the root? That could be the root. Here we go. Hello? Friendly? I mean no harm. I just have my sword out because I've got a few pieces of meat on me, like some ribs that I might need to cut up. Hello? Um. Fell Thunderbrute. Oh, this is the first boss, isn't it? Friendly? Friendly? Oh, it's your head I need to get. Hi there. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay, you hit hard. Wait, where's my sword? Ah! I switched to my sword by switched from my sword by accident. Okay, swing at me. Okay, so he does three attacks. Three attacks and a thunder thing. And he kicks. That's not nice, sir. One, two, and thunderclap. Yep. He tries to kick me. Slam. Strike, strike, strike. Dodge. Thunderclap. Strike, strike, strike. Dodge. Swing, swing, slam. Grab. And then hit. Two, three. Dodge. Dodge! Shit. I'm stunned, I'm stunned, I'm stunned. Okay, quickly use a bandage. And slam. Two, three. Ow, ow, I'm stunned again. Let's lock onto him, shall we? Two, three. One, two, three, four. Greedy, but works. Now I can get multiple hits on him to here. Yes. We took out the Thunderclapper. Oh. oh. Okay, a shroud. Oh, a shroud course for the altar. The head... And also a bronze sword. Yes, and it's purple. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. The thunder thing. What a nice little sword. Okay, the shroud root is the source of all misery. Destroy it with a felling axe and prosper. Yes. Be gone, foul thing. Tentacle thing. Ooh. These little ball things on the ground kind of freak me out a little bit. Look, you see how they wiggle when I move through them? Like little wiggly ball things. Okay, oh, we can breathe. We can breathe in here. Hey, we could make a base here, couldn't we? An underground shroud base. I think we've got to leave this place now, right? But that was like our first boss. That was kind of cool. He had three attacks, a kick, then a slam thunderclapper thing, and then he had a swing swing thunderclapper thing. That was kind of nice. Our first little bottle. Battle. He, he wasn't like extremely hard, but he uh, he provided some um, thinking when it comes to uh, the fighting, especially if you got stunned from the thunderclapper thing. We're going to try and find our way back up here now. Oh, what's up this way? Ooh. Stamina regeneration. Okay, well, we can kind of take one of them, right? Because our current... Um, we have two rings. Plus eight stamina and plus ten health. We might as well replace one of these with the uh, the regeneration one, right? Because that other ring is just... Uh, is the same one we already picked up previously. So let's just kind of head out of here. And I guess get back to base. Unless there's another mission it's telling me to do. It's telling us to craft a spike club. 
So we could just go from here and teleport back home. And take our new goodies with us. But also, we've got an, uh, an enshroud. Oh, God. <laughs> just looking at me through the window. But we also now can go into the flame. Ember Veil can be reclaimed. Collect sparks and offer them to the flame altar to strengthen the flame. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. So we can now look at upgrading what we can to a 80 by 80 by 80 radius. So upgrade altar. And now we have increased it. We just need a second flame. No, five shroud cores. And we need to find a flame. Oh, we need to upgrade the flame. Okay, we need to upgrade this, the strength of the flame, to level two. Which means we need resin, red mushroom, bone, shroud liquid, a spark, and animal fur. Everything else we can get, but except a spark. We don't know where to get that from. But, um, that's pretty cool. Also, Mr. Oswald in here wants to have a chat with us. Did you break something? Uh, maybe. Scaling the ancient spire. Ember Vale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the lands. The ancient spires, once is close by, climb it and discover the world anew. Grappling hook. What are you writing? Uh, what, what are you what, writing? <laughs> what are you waiting around for? Craft a grappling hook if you want to further explore Ember Vale. Ooh. So we, we could look into uh, maybe crafting that and all that kind of good stuff. But we do have the head and I needed it for something. But I don't remember what. I needed the head to build something, right? I'm pretty sure it was. My brain has gone all foggy. I think I was in the shroud. Oswald, I was in, I was in the shroud for too long. And I, I forgot what I was talking about. But I guess we could kind of end this one here. It was a little bit more of an adventure video. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of these. Because, well, well to be honest, you're going to see more than these. Because we've got a lot of places to explore. So check out my other content right here. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.